Welcome back, Pixelcom agents. I'm Commander Dracus here for Pixel Reboot's Let's Play of XCOM 2. And uh, we just got through our tutorials. Uh, at least uh, I think think the one of the tutorials. I think there's a couple missions for it. So we're going to go ahead and get on with that. But I just wanted to say thanks for everybody out there for watching. And um, if you like these videos and you want to be in them, if you want to be a Pixel agent, and if you want to be part of this XCOM playthrough, uh, we can add you into the character pool to talk about before. So just leave your like, like just leave a comment, a little bit about what you want with your character, like you know maybe a, what type of nickname you want, um, what sort of color, like favorite favorite colors you like. Um, do you do you wear a hat or glasses? You know, just just some cosmetic things. So something to, to make the character yourself. And yeah, um, we already had one person comment a little bit. Um, I believe it was Gruff Madness. And um, he didn't leave too much information, so I just went in and made a little bit of rough um, character for him. And if Gruff, if you're if you if you're watching and you see your character, if your character comes up and you don't want to change anything about it, all you do is leave us a comment and let us know. And we'll go ahead and fix it. So anyway, let's get on with this research here, and let's find out some more here, and let's find out what's going on. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. Alright, so here we have our research wing, uh, Dr. Tagan. Uh, research is... is, is great way just getting new weapons, new armor, uh, and progressing the game, right? This is this is how you unlock new quests a lot of the times. Um, new new missions to go on. So, um, right now we only have the one we can research, which is the alien biotech, which tells us about that chip they pulled out of our head I'll in the cutscene. work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Alright. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Wow, so this, this is our ship. This is our, uh, our base. Yeah. Yep. Alright, looks like it's uh, commandeered some sort of alien craft. Right. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Sure thing, Central. All right, let's take a look. Promote her. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. All right, so we got a Ranger. This is, this is a, um, I believe this is one of the new classes that you get from XCOM um, 2. Uh, as you can We're see, you have start. your tree here where Our you can pick the different, different abilities. Gain experience. Now, her aim is a little high, her will not so much, but we can get into that. Alright, let's go see what happened on the bridge. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander, give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior command exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. 
A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Alright, our first mission. Here we go. Alright. Select our soldiers and see who we got. Ah! Got some people here. Alright, let's see. We have... Our squaddy, of course. First we're gonna ask, we're gonna take her first. But we've also got some of our friends here, so let's take a look. We have the brawler. We have got Baby Bear. Rat. The Outlaw. Venom. Let's see. Probably just gonna take Turkish. it out with go with the rat there we go all right this is a good team of New India. Cover the admin power converter. Neutralize our enemy targets. Cover power converter. Alright. Alright. So, loading the screen here as we see our squad in transit. Like I said, if you, uh, you want to be in part of our squad, all you gotta do is leave a comment below. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, a nickname you want for your character, and uh, some favorite colors for your armor, and such like that, and the props you want for glasses, uh, facial hair, etc. So, let's get on it. Commander, getting a fix on the device, but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. Yeah, it doesn't look like so this is probably going to be a timed mission. Shen's working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to timer. access its core. Stay in the shadows until we can get a better read on the situation. I really do like this concealment feature. This is very handy for setting up ambushes and just for just, just for moving around the map. All right, so we're in concealment, so they can't see us if we should come up if, if if we should happen upon them, as long as we're in cover. So let's try and keep let's try and move everybody up and stay in cover. Good to go. All right, and see what we can see. In this early part, since we have concealment, I'm not. I am. I feel pretty comfortable like moving uh, with, with 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 the dash. Generally, you'd set up, you know, just move and, you know, move where you could move the furthest and do Overwatch. With the timer, that can kind of make things a little more difficult. Corriendo. <laughs> so right now, we are just essentially trying to get people into a good position. Already there. Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. 
Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Yes, yeah, so we do have a chance here. If we get enough people into Overwatch before we attack them with our fourth person, they'll react and the enemy will move after we attack them. Then it gives everybody we've set up on Overwatch a chance to attack back. So it gives us a good reactionary ambush setup. So let's see, where are we going to go here with Turkish? See, now if we move here, you see that that tells us we're going to run through two things of fire. Let me tell you what, running through fire is bad. It's not a good thing. That's not good full cover, but should give us a pretty good setup there on these guys. Which is what I'm trying to do here. Get him up to there. And Sayida. To our ambush. Excellent. Alright, we're gonna put you on Overwatch. On Overwatch. Probably gonna launch the attack with him. Orders confirmed. Oh. On the move. We're busted. Done. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've done. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. <laughs> Did not mean for that to happen, son of a. Alright, well, at least I can still shoot. And I still actually have pretty good chances on that guy. And on that guy. Alright, let's take that guy out. Good job. Good shot, Turkish. Save that. The enemy doesn't know we're here now. So. Now we're going to have to be a little bit more careful as we progress up here. Move into position. Should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. Right. Moving. Turkish up. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Move the rat right up to there. Doesn't give us Overwatch, but. Alright, now for the brawler. Move into designated position. There we go. Alright, Overwatch. Overwatch. Here come the bad guys. Okay, 
As I said, they know we're here. Good shot. Rangers are uniquely equipped for close quarters combat. In the right situation, they can prove highly effective. All right. So the Rangers have a melee attack. You can get up to them, and it, they, they move and attack. They go and can just hit somebody. Um, so let's see what the range is on that. All right, so I can go up and slash that guy there. Really? Eighty-eight percent chance. I can do it. I can do it. Let's do it. there though so we are going to need to move some guys up we get some shots maybe I may just get some maybe some overwatches oh, that'll work be the hero Turkish Crypt that next turn. Uh oh, they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Oh, I look friendly. Position confirmed. Move Be boy out in the open. Whatever he was doing against the rat didn't work. Oh, what the hell? Oh, reanimated. But for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. That's just not good. Neither is this. Just royally screwed. Right, we need to pull her back um, first. Let me see if I can throw this grenade up here without blowing up the truck. It'll be a bad day for everybody. Good, good. Did not damage the truck. I did destroy some loot. It's okay. Oh, does she not get to move? Oh, man. Did that take away your move? Balls. Alright. Good sir. 
Let's begin this hack. Done. Angle still to go. Well done. Readings are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is in route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Yeah, it's gonna throw that frag grenade there. In the area before evac. There we go. Controlled. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Need to get away. No! We lost the rat. I didn't even see fire on that thing. Car. Let's see. No, I'm not gonna go take out our friend. Control me this early. Whoo! Commander, we're taking heavy losses. We may have to adjust our approach. Yeah, I'm gonna adjust the approach. Understood. Moving out. You miss him. That is not good. Run and dry. End coming over here. Huh. Huh. 
Thank you for reloading. mission, but we did it. That's what counts. Alright. Turkish. The brawler. Almost under fire. Ah, we lost our squatty. It's okay. These guys all made it up level, so... Let's see. Back to base. We'll see what these guys turn into now. Uh, the brawler here is going to be hurt, so he's going to have to take time to heal. Um, if you have any other missions, he may not go on immediately. But, let's go back to base. We'll level these guys up, and then I think we'll call this episode. Alright, here we go. Let's get back to base. A few of our people earned well-deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shan will probably want to have a word with you, too. Uh, lost the rat. But... Some of our most advanced equipment, specialists, deploying <laughs> robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. That will probably go with combat for brawler. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers nice. provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Alright. So he's got a launch grenade ability, which is handy. Much greater range and capacity for our grenades. So, Turkish Kim a Grenadier. And the brawler came a specialist. Which These items should prove to. useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander, I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. All right. That's the episode for uh, for now, and um, whenever we come back, we'll find out uh, what that uh, upgrade's going to do for us, and then um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see uh, see in our next mission. Our next uh, our next goal is going to be for uh, you know, taking back the planet from the aliens. So, all right, all right, Pixel Squad. Keep, keep fighting a good fight. This is Commander Dracus signing off. We'll see you next time here on Pixel Reboot. And remember, like and subscribe.